All right, Coach, you can start us off some opening comments. Just really pleased uh, for our guys. I thought we had a really good week playing uh, another one of the top ranked teams in the country. We've had our share of that in September. We certainly had experiences that we should learn from um, and really thought we, uh, we took control. This was the first time we won the toss and able to get the ball coming out of halftime and really thought that uh, we, we put it away there early in the third. And, uh, I have tremendous respect for the Georgia Bulldogs and their program. Kirby's going to do a great job, but I, I can't think of uh, times in my lifetime where where um, a, a team has has done that to Georgia. And so, that credit to our kids and our coaches. And we got to play a lot of kids in an SEC game, which is not not the norm. And they're just really proud. And uh, hopefully, we can build upon it and uh, and get a few guys healthy and, and finish strong next week. All right, raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone to you. You, Derek Jones, played in his first game back. You know, this year as a cornerback, and he gets the interception the first year all this year. Can you kind of speak about that play and, and yeah. him making the play on the ball and, and showing up? I don't know of, uh, of anybody that, uh, if you really have um, some good character traits about yourself, I think all of us enjoy a redemption story, and um, all of us have made mistakes. He's, he's certainly been in, uh, been in his payment plan to get back reinstated to this team for a long time. And I love him and uh, really, really proud to see him finally get back with us and then to see him make a play was really nice. You, did you notice make any changes how you handled it in the second quarter or halftime? Did you notice anything different temperament of the team or? No, just uh, we weren't emotional all week, Hugh. It was, uh, and uh, in, in my heart, my gut is usually right, usually. And um, my gut was that we were, uh, we had really good work in practices, but we were not emotional, no passion. And my gut told me all week, it's a great sign. They're disappointed, they're ticked, and uh, they'll be ready to go. And, and traditionally, since we've been here, we usually have bounced back from disappointing losses pretty well. Um, and. You know, I just, we just talked about it's a story that uh, I've been sharing with them all week from, um, from the Bible, from 2 Samuel, when a, when a guy chased a lion into a pit and he didn't come out until the job was done. And that was a message at halftime. And, um, but the, I really, I, I just think it's, uh, I know everybody wants to make it out to be great strategy by the opposing coaches or by us or, or not by us, but Reality is, Hugh, if we don't turn the ball over, we don't talk about all those strategy things. And, you know, and that's what happened to us. And we turned it over in both of those games. Not only just turned it over, but we turned it over last week for two straight touchdowns. And it's hard to overcome that against good teams. And we were playing really good teams who seized the momentum after those things. So we really didn't do, we didn't do anything different, really.